Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Union of Socialist American States and let's continue playing as this type of America. Anyways, I've told several of my people, and by people I mean my carriers or something, to split off, have my dreadnoughts split off and do th something like that to make sure that our fleets, or at least our main patrol fleet, is looking good so that each task force has a carrier and a dreadnought in each one of these. For example, the Philippine Sea guy. Well, oh wait, the Philippine Sea. What am I doing the Philippine Sea for? There you go. Um, yeah, I want him to have a dreadnought and carrier. Right now, what we're going to do is finish off Ireland. Then take out Egypt. Oh, someone invaded too. Cool. Go to war with the Chinese, finally. And then go to war with the other Chinese. And go to war as well with the Australasian Confederation. Oh. Very nice. Let's just continue on. Ireland is so close to capitulating. It's not even funny. Hopefully this video records properly because yesterday when I tried this again, didn't do it quite properly. Anyways, um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Maybe throw another division in here anyways because why not? The infrastructure is terrible because we nuked it. We nuked Ireland pretty hard last time. They just keep throwing on more bodies and, well, those bodies are continuing to expire. Love it. Ah, very nice. Three divisions defending. While being attacked by four divisions in total. Two are defending, one's defending. And we have kicked them out, maybe. And yeah, we have. Awesome. Cool. Great. Thanks. So everyone here should really reinforce this entire line. It looks like someone... Oh, it looks like Mexico pulled a sneaky on you. They invaded a territory or a tile with absolutely no port or access to supplies. Good job, Mexico. Good job. Casualties for Ireland, of course, are approaching a million. They have six factories left. And they got quite a few divisions, actually, but they're not very strong at all. So right now, let's, go, let's wait for our soldiers to get all aligned on the front line. Have a good time. Watch the Mexican divisions die. Claim victory over Ireland ourselves. And, yeah. Just continue pushing on. I guess you guys can go this way. Uh, it looks like these guys are actually surrounded because Romania decided to pull a sneaky on Egypt. So, yeah, it's lagging pretty freaking hard, but that's okay. So all these guys are going to die. That's, that's like, that's despicable. Ro Romania, what'd you do? Like, all these divisions, they're just going to perish. I mean, I commend you completely, Fort Romania. Smart thinking there, but they have up to 40 to 54 divisions. But once these guys are all gone, oh my goodness. That's like a bunch of divisions gone. Up oh, now they're between 36 and 50. Diesel-powered emergency pumps. Thank you very much. Uh, ooh, homing torpedo. Advanced carrier hull. Let's get ladder shooting. That sounds like fun. 800 factories in total, and those divisions died. Oh my goodness. And they have between 22 and 39. Holy crap. Oh wait, hold on. We're not quite done yet here. Everyone's going to come in here and blow them up. Wow, hold on. Hold on now. That was like almost their entire army. Holy crap, four divisions are left? Just four? Oh my goodness. That was pretty brutal. I mean, can you imagine losing your entire military, or at least your entire army, except for four divisions? You went from around maybe a little less than 50 or so to four? Oh, so brutal. Good job, Romanians. We could literally have not done that without you. Uh, da, da, da. Very good, very good. Uh, Ireland, um, we have another nuke, but I'm going to save it for probably Austra Australasia. So, uh, you guys, just go right ahead. You know, the Irish just don't have the Irish men to replenish their divisions. They might have enough equipment, but definitely equipment-wise, they do not have enough. And I'm currently preparing to write down a number for when the... Uh, the co-prosperity sphere is going to capitulate because Mashriq has got to die this video. It's got to die. It just has to, you know? Wow, we really can't push in. You know what, Ireland? You don't want to test me like this. You really don't. I mean, I have a nuke. I said I was going to save it, but I don't have to. Are you telling me you don't want to get destroyed? Is that what you're telling me? Um. Okay, then. Well... I've, I've talked to you about it, and you still don't want to get destroyed? Well, hold on. Hold on. 
We're reopening negotiations. We are seeming like we might get what we want. I love aggressive negotiations. This might be a little too aggressive, but that's okay. A nuclear bomb can change the discourse of any conversation. Very nice, very nice. Just push them back. Let's see. Ireland, I was going to see how many casualties you had, but I guess I zoomed all the way out instead. Um, frankly, I really don't want Ireland. So, uh, I'm going to pass. I want to see what happens. Uh, for I want to give it to the Union of Britain, just to piss people off. Um, yay! Oh, man. Well, at least Ireland was annexed. They suffered zero casualties. Wait. Okay, uh, you guys are making it to Moscow, which is great. I want you to make it to Moscow next. And I'm going to make you come all the way down, back down here. Probably to Vietnam, actually. Yeah, come down to Vietnam, because that's a pretty good area for where we can base our fleets and stuff like that. We'll come to wherever the Third International is, and then invade, probably, Kaiser Wilhelm's land. So, at least we got Ireland out of the way. I only had to give him one more daddy nuke. Which is pretty good. We obviously need more tanks. Do we need more support equipment? No, we don't. Not really. We need a crap ton more steel because I put on a lot of ships. Because between this episode and the last, I upgraded a lot of the ships that we had. But I also want to have to do some upgrades as well. So we'll definitely see what happens. I want a lot of these subs I've been making in Nova Scotia. Yeah, there's Nova Scotia to be upgraded as well. So at this point in the game, I'm not really worried about our navy. If I lose like 10 carriers, so be it. As long as we win in the end, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, not too bad. But seriously, Egypt's got to die. Oh, I didn't tell you to go? Yeah, just go ahead. Something tells me Egypt is not going to be able to hold up against us. We can probably take out the Suez. Have a lot of good, fun times with them. Mashriq, please, you got to die. But it looks like our allies have been trying to push in a little bit more. Just a tiny, tiny bit more here. Oh, baby, we got some... uh. Enemy ships? I have some coffee here. Oh, great! Thanks! Thanks! I will definitely take... Okay, so I can't take Cairo or Alexandria. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna take something. Um, since we still don't have player like peace conferences, can I just take... Okay, I, I'll take all of it. Ah, yes. American Egypt. Uh, actually... Oh, actually, do I have Sinai too? Maybe not. Maybe I do. Is a commune of France liberating somebody? Oh, yeah, they are. They're, they just liberated Egypt. Great. Let's go march right in. Uh, I own this, even though it's supposed to be Syrian. And I don't have to give anybody anything. Because, I hope, because uh, the commune of France said, Hey, just liberate the Egyptian Socialist Party in the Egyptian Republic. Even though game, the game is lagging a little hard. Hey, on July 28th. Cool. That's my birthday. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, a little bit of manpower. mid J still. I've already went over that stuff. Just hurry up and just get it in through here. That would be great. Oh, return... Pfft. Return Egyptian lands. I want to create my own Egypt. Alright? I'm creating my own Egypt. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think I can. Return territory. Uh, no thanks. Wait. The Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands are up here, aren't they? Um... Union of Britain. Huh. Faroe Islands. I don't know where that is. Hold on. Fair. Oh. Oh, you're. That's. Oh, I guess yeah. You can have that. I don't really care. Okay then. Um. Da da dum. The West Indies Federation. No, Puerto Rico's mine. Up oh, there. Yep. Do that. Oh God dang! It. I gotta return Egyptian lands. But no one is pressuring me to do it, so I'm not going to. Great. 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 I think there might only be one episode after this, just because. We had to go to war with the Sino Coalition, and we got to capitulate the Australasian Confederation. At max, there will be two episodes after this video. Which means I need to create a th few more thumbnails at the time of me recording this. Ooh. Cruiser hole has been sunk. Sorry, Syria. You're just not going to have any ships left after this war. Oh, Sudan. Oh, yeah, we, we're pushing through Sudan as well. I forgot about that. Ah, yes. Africa. The ever eternal struggle of a country. I mean, nation. I mean, continent. Yeah, I know I know my geography. Hoi 4 teaches geography. Actually, Hoi 4 could be a really great thing to teach geography and history if you think about it. 
all the battles, all the ideologies between the Nazis and the communists and the democratic type of peoples, and how lands change hands and over time between World War One, World War Two, between the end of a new beginning mod that features up that features like the mid nineteenth century. But then again, I guess you have Victoria too if you wanted to teach geography and stuff like that, so uh, be a little more... Yeah, you know what, screw it. Just do what you're doing. You're doing a great job. I'm not going to question you. Oh, we got another nuke. I love it. Let's see, we got some tanks over here. They're looking slightly better than last time. I love it. Uh, uh, our guys are probably not down here in Vietnam yet, but we should move our ships immediately. And this is a huge but, but we got to move our ships immediately. Cool. Uh, ships, where are y'all? Nope, you're done there. I want you to rebase in, uh, where's, oh, Taipei, or Kao Seung, Kao Seung, awesome. And some of our divisions are over here, and we're going to finally take out Mishrik from the other side. Ah, oh, very good, it's been too long since Mishrik has had so much power. Actually, Mishrik, apparently, in our timeline, would be called Jordan. I didn't know that, or something like that, I think, I'm pretty sure it's Jordan, but... You know, whatever. Wow, this lag is something next level. I'm almost tempted. Actually, I probably will. At the end of this video, I'm probably going to destroy, like, all the Soviet Union divisions, or maybe all the Communist France's divisions, or maybe all a lot of the European divisions, just because it's so laggy. I mean, I'm making one division right now, which is fine. I don't need that much more, but it's pretty freaking laggy. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Vietnamese government, exile, whatever. I don't really care. Our divisions are hopefully pushing in. You can definitely push these guys in. Definitely. Very nice, very, very nice. How much longer can we go to war with the Sino Coalition? Because I messed it up last time and we had to wait extra time. Ooh, nice. Level 4 anti air. Love it. Oh, 12 days. Awesome. Ooh, Sardinia. Oh, there's my stopwatch on my phone. Cool. Um, part of the fleet was sunk in exchange for some Soviet crappy ships. Two armored cruisers and three cruisers next were sunk and destroyed. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Oh, we took them on. Actually, Mashriq should capitulate soon. And when we do that, everything is just going to go to crap. Like... We're, we're gonna have the peace conference. Look at look at how disgusting this is. The Soviet Russia has taken all this, but then we have claims right now on this area, or we hold this area. Disgusting. But at, as long as oh, I even have this, oh, that's disgusting. I'm a little. I'm not even gonna. Looks like, a, like part of a tentacle or something sticking out of Russia. Anyways, I I at the, at the very least I want Japan. I think Japan could serve as a pretty nice uh, puppet, if you know what I mean. Uh, our war participation was 55%. Great. We've done no bombings. We've sunk a lot of enemy ships, taken a couple casualties, and have done a crap ton of occupations. So as long as we get Japan, maybe Korea, I'll be satisfied with that. Actually, who are we at war with? Uh, Mashriq, uh, I don't really care about the Middle East. Siam, I don't really care either. Cool. Very, very awesome, Mashriq. I'm really surprised you have not gone, gone under yet. Seriously. Come on, guys. Just, just, and their miserable existence. They want to die. Okay, that's that's at the point where we're at. They want to go bye-bye. Oh, armored heavy carrier. Well, just make infinite. It really doesn't matter at this point anymore. Really doesn't. They're attacking us. We're moving in. Mashriq, please, just, just go bye-bye. Please, 92% of the way. Oh, we our front line. Oh, we're going to focus on taking out Syria first, really, guys. Come on. I don't want to nuke Damascus. That's just going to ruin the infrastructure. Uh, you definitely don't want to move that way. Just go to Damascus. On the road to Damascus and get blinded. And when you come out after you're done being blinded, after the peace conference, you're going to be on our side no matter what. It's in the gospel. Look it up. And I'm going to start calling you Paul instead of Saul. Anyways. Hmm, Egyptian allies, well, they're syndicalists. We don't really care for syndicalists that much. I mean, they're good people, but... <sighs> Syndicalism. Nice, there goes Syria, great. 
I'm pressing the wrong buttons on my keyboard. Okay. Uh, yeah, just... Please. Just finish him off. Actually, you know what? Don't even finish him off. Focus on my shriek. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Anyways. Uh, Medina. I heard we could probably become more Islamic if we go to Medina or something. I don't know. Um, honestly... Let's see. If you can push them in, do so. But really, I don't think... Well, actually, towards the Union Clique, we can definitely push these guys in. Oliver Law will have a great time with these people. Finally. It's going to get underway. The second last... I guess this is really the last enemy faction that we're going to go to war with. Of course, this is called the Sino Coalition. And what is that flag? I can't tell because the game is logging super hard. Oh, it's Kyukulan. Ah, oh, yes. I thought it was Kyukulan. The one country that always manages to break free from Deutsch Middle Africa. Can you imagine that if... Uh, oh, look at this. That's pretty nice. That if they rework Deutsch Middle Africa so you could like... Like it, it could still explode. But like if you had like a united Deutsch Middle Africa but went totalist or like syndicalist or something or anarcho-socialist which couldn't be possible but just be amazing if it could. Oh, it looks like someone invaded uh, Yemen up here, or Oman. Oh my god, it's so laggy. How many allies do we have? We have too many allies. Someone is trying to come up the boot through South Africa. Oh my goodness. Ah, time to drink a lot of coffee then. Ah, very nice. Sudan is looking a little crushed right now. A little crushed. Madagascar has a K in it. Madagascar. Love it. Oh my god, how many more allies? Ah, oh, Sudan is so small. Um, actually, it looks like the Argentine Commune. Co-Prosperity Spirit is looking really disgusting with that gray color. But, oh, the Australasian Confederation has also arrived here. Our allies have invaded South Africa. Great, great, great. Khartoum looks great as well. Wait, I thought I told you guys to go south. Whatever, who cares. Just butcher them, please. Return to Egyptian lands once we're done with this war. Uh, the Chinese were trying to attack us, and they are a little successful. Oh, you guys are actually here. You know what? Since you're here, help me take these guys out. Why not? You're doing fine. If the tanks can move, if the tanks are strong enough, just do it. Just but be careful. You don't have full strength. And the game is pretty laggy. We got a couple of nukes. I don't really feel like nuke in this area. Uh, we're not really winning here. And they can kind of pierce you guys. So, actually, just hold on. Hold on to yourselves. Just hold on, yeah. You guys can probably push in. Nice. Um, probably here, actually, too. I mean, yeah, it's over a river. It's pretty bad to attack over a river, but whatever. What river? Oh, that was a terrible joke. Ah, oh, very nice. Very, very good. Oh, there goes Sudan. I love you, Sudan. Looks like we did most of the score. Um, let's take that, take that, take that. Actually, we might be able to take everything. I love it. Thank you. Feels like I'm playing Victoria too. I'm going to colonize this area. Oh, wait. No, I can't. It's point four. Uh, you guys. Ooh. Yeah, I read it. Um... You know what? I'm going to start positioning these guys. We have no more enemies. Well, we still have enemies, but a lot of the enemies... God dang it. I need to click on you. Uh, a lot of enemies aren't very strong, so I'm going to put you in the Philippines. We're going to actually use the Philippines quite a bit to invade a lot of areas before we invade Australasia proper. Actually, don't invade there. I missed Port Mosby. Let's see. Oh, actually, it might be better if I get Coral. Coror. Invade there. Uh, do Port Coror as well. Since we have to use that area, then this area as well. As well as this area. I got enough of a fleet to do it anyways. To attack. Oh. Oh, man, this lag is not very good. Right there, that would... Oh, that... Eh, we'll, we'll guard all that area. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. We also should probably invade from, like, here or something to over here. Use all 14 of these divisions. 
you come from here, invade the port over here, do this before we're actually at war with uh, the Australasian Confederation. Come on. Very nice. Come on. You got it. Yeah, yeah. I know it's laggy, but you guys got this. Um, really doesn't matter since we have to come down here anyways. Uh, sure. And one more group. Um, right there. And invade. I don't know, like that area? Sure. Let's let's go go ahead and grab our subs. And then come to Singapore. Uh, these guys can prepare themselves and we've bombed something here. Ooh, two Siamese ships. Mashriq is so close to capitulating. Ah, oh, very nice. Come on, Mishrik, you're 92% of the way towards death. Like, you've been surprisingly, extremely tough. And why don't I have an option for liberating Sudan? Is it because I can return all of those Egyptian lands to Egypt? Actually, that's a better idea than releasing Sudan, yeah. Ooh, and there goes all that good, delicious coffee. Um, eh, I wouldn't call it delicious. It's not bad, but delicious. Mm, I don't know. You come this way. Alright, alright, come on, get Medina or Mecca. Union of Britain is helping us out in the butt. Love it. And we're doing okay here in China, I suppose. I really wasn't paying attention. Oh, and oh my goodness, here we go. So, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna fade us out and I will come back to you guys with the peace conference. They'll be seeing just a few seconds. Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh yeah, I went through a fairly long peace conference, and let's talk about the world, as everything is going to get become very, very laggy soon, because the Commune of France and the people in Kurdistan are doing other things. Anyways, so as you can tell, first up is Soviet Russia is pretty long. They stretch from the Baltic Sea all the way to the Pacific now. Uh, I returned all of the Egyptian lands to Egypt, obviously. Uh, I would have liked to kept the canal, but the decision that I took said I would not give him the canal, but that means I also kept a lot of other places, and like Su Sudanese places that I didn't want to keep. Like, it was like half of Egypt, and the canal was under me, but I wanted to give all of Egypt Sudan, but you know, whatever. Uh, it looks like the Cape Commune was just released under this really big-faced guy, under William Henry Andrews. So we got the Soviet Union. Um, uh, let's talk about Asia first, since we're still technically fighting a war in China. So what I did is I really wanted all of Asia to be released. Oh, it looks like we have now combined syndicates of Mozambique. Really cool. Uh, yeah, so China, I wanted to release more of China, but apparently I could only release the People's Republic of China. But at least I have China now. Unfortunately, I couldn't give them all of what we know as China, unfortunately. But once this war is over, we might be able to bite up China a little bit more. Maybe give more territory to China. Wait a second. Wait. Why does Japan own this? That's not a core of Japan. Why highway? Yeah, give that back, J J Japan. You don't deserve this. Anyways, um, we're still justifying on the legation cities. Actually, I literally just started justifying on them. It's going to be a while before we go to war with go to war with them. Japan should not own this either. But whatever. Um, the Communist of France did take a good chunk of southern China, which is kind of unfortunate. They also took a good portion of Siam. So, pretty unfortunate. Oh well, things happen. Uh, actually, for right now, just go ahead and do this. Just do the entire front line or something. I want them these guys gone. So, But we do have some time. Uh, where are you guys at? Cool. Cool. You're going to basically do the same thing. Uh, I've already set up an invasion force for, like I said earlier, Australasian Confederation. Uh, who are we at war with? We're at war with Sardinia, Qing, who shouldn't be alive, Yunnan Clique, and Shang Qing Tian Guo. <clears throat> also, obviously I've released Japan. They have a funny flag, very funny flag, under this guy. Totalist, but my favorite thing out of this entire peace conference, <clears throat> excuse me, was 
the people Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I love that this nation was released. I love it. They're my puppet. It's under one United Korea. I wish I could show you, but the game is lagging incredibly hard. And yeah, it was actually pretty cool seeing us release this country. Look at this. Democratic People's Republic of Korea under Hu Woo Jin. Definitely not a Kim, but I would have loved to see Kim Jong Il or something like this leading this type of Korea. Oh well, but that'd be cool regardless. Uh, actually, you guys, be careful. Uh, if I need it, what's the air power like over here? Oh, we have definite air power. Um, but we could probably use a little bit more. Give them 400 more. Just bomb the hell out of these people. And then we're in a couple more places, more air bases. Here we are. Give us 400 more as well. And put them under Milton Wolf. Sounds pretty good to me. That should help our guys push into Yunnan Creek as well as the other Chinese state. Uh, looks like... Well, I'm not done talking about all this, though. Coming to France, though, is this area... Um, I'm not expecting that already. Okay, I still... I'm not going to join the war yet, but... Because I still need my guys in here in the water. And, yeah, that's extremely unexpected. At the current moment, I'm sorry. I cannot go to war with them just yet, but apparently I'm guarding Buddha. All right, then. 122 divisions, obviously. Uh, I guess Ridgeway, you got nothing there. That's fine. Um, that looks to appear to be the only one. Obviously, France is calling in all their allies. The Australasian Confederation is going to be at war with every single one of these people, despite them having an uncrushing pact with these people. Uh, Sardinia still has to die. We did take out last time Ireland, which is the Irish Socialist Republic under the Union of Britain. This guy's looking a little scared or frightened. Uh, what is this? Return Japanese lands? Um, no. Uh, I defeated you. I'm keeping your islands. Also, I do want to give like things like Taipei or Taiwan in general to uh, China once we're all done here. I wish I could release more territories, but I cannot. What is this? Oh, it's lagging. That's what it is. That's lag. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I can't release several nations. Ooh, larger reserve force. I love it. Sorry, guys. I just can't get involved just yet. I want to release Qing China or something. Uh, do that. I could give some territory to the commune of Tibet, but they're not really under us, so I don't really care. And obviously, I can't give stuff to... Or I won't give stuff to Puerto Rico because no one loves Puerto Rico. Uh, I will go to war with the Australasian Confederation, of course, once we have our soldiers in place, once they're ready to go. But I don't want my guys to die in the water. Also, we do have a lot of ships moving around the area. Oh, here's another thing in the Middle East. So I took Oman. They're under me. I also took Yemen. So we have the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen. We have the Socialist Republic of Oman. And to piss people off, I decided to liberate both Kurdistan, of all things... So they still have claims on a lot of this territory around here. Well, maybe not a lot, but some territory. Uh, yeah. Or at least uh, territorial claims on Persia. Western Azerbaijan. But I also released what I said was earlier was Mashriq, which in our timeline was called Jordan. But, you know, I thought it would just be funny if America had a puppet in the Middle East where Afghanistan is. Or not Afghanistan, but Iraq is. So basically, like in our timeline, America owns... Baghdad and Iraq, what we know is Iraq, as well as this area down here. So Mashriq is in two, literally two, because there's a Syrian Socialist Republic, despite Mashriq having claims on all, or at least most of this territory, or at least a good chunk of it. So, go figure. Jer Jerusalem is owned by Syria, Sinai here, just, I thought it'd be awesome if we owned that. And it looks like the Australasian Confederation is doing something here. Oof. Bad timing, guys. Bad, bad timing. Anything here? Advanced anti-air. Oh, well. Algeria's here. Uh, there's really not much else here. Um, I mean, obviously, Soviet Russia got pretty big. Got, got a lot of land, but, you know, a lot of that land is worthless. And actually, even though it's Soviet Russia, they're radical socialists. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. 
Once I'm done with Australasian Confederation, that'll be the end of this campaign, which will be good and fine, finally. It's about time for us to wrap up this campaign. It's gone literally on for about a month, so... Not, not that it's wrong to have it go on for a month, but... Eventually, you do want to move on. Let's see, just... Can you do something here? Can you give me a little bit more? Thank you. Come again. So, I mean, with that in mind, I mean, that's pretty much it for this episode. So, okay, the Council of Non-Aggression Pact. Just don't kill my boys that might be coming to the water. And before we leave, let's make sure we set up our ships because they're where? East China Sea? Good, good, good. Uh, do some patrols around... Not here, not here, not here. See if Japan... No. Do Bismarck. Philippine Sea. You are doing Bismarck. I'm going to need a lot of fleets. And grab our Submarinos, who is docked in Singapore, to do... Convoy raiding. Coral Sea. Uh, Coral Sea is pretty good. Solomon Sea. There... Three is probably pretty good enough. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. We're still training a couple soldiers, be or a couple ships, because why the hell not? Recognize the Filipino exile government, even though I think the war is over at this point. But, regardless, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully finish up China and begin to go to war with the Australasian Confederation. Thanks for watching, guys.